Yo, what is up everybody? Mr. Temptations here, and I'm bringing y'all my second commentary. And today I'm going to talk about, well, first of all, the gameplay is by me. And playing with Emerged and some Team Snipers on Uncaged. And I do pretty good. I think I get 34 kills somewhere around there. You'll see it at the end. And today I'm going to talk about my first day at work, which happened recently. Uh, if y'all haven't seen me on as much, excuse me, if you haven't seen me, <laughs> if you haven't seen me on Xbox Live as much, it's probably because I've been working, I finally got a job, my dad helped me out, you know, uh, got paid $10 an hour, it wasn't bad for a first job, pretty hot out there though, working in the sun, but anyways, I'm going to tell you what happened on my first day of job, at my, at my job. So we're riding down, uh, where, where were we riding down? Uh, we were riding down the back roads in the back. We are hauling some pipe, and we were taking it to the rig so they could do whatever. I don't know what they do, because I don't work with them, but we just haul the pipe to them. And we're going to bring it, we're going to bring the pipe to them. And sounds, we're gonna, yeah, we're going to lay the pipe to them. And so we're, we're taking it there. I'm riding with this dude. <laughs> I'm running. <laughs> I'm running with this dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend is being really fucking gay in the back right now. <laughs> All right, so we were running with this dude. His name's Agado, and he's about 40 years old. He's from Mexico. He's probably I forgot. I think I don't think I'm pretty sure he's legal now, but. I remember he snuck over here first. Well, anyways. Well, while we were driving to bring the pipe, the cops pull us over because we don't have... We don't have something. I forgot. What, we didn't have a license or something to take the pipe. We didn't have a license plate in the back. And uh, they pulled us over. I didn't have my seatbelt on. So I get a ticket on my first day of work for not having a seatbelt on. I think that was that was pretty bad. My dad was not happy about that, and the dude Agado, dude Agado that worked with us, he got over four tickets for a thousand dollars or something like that, and that 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 sucked really bad for him. I mean, my dad did get the tickets removed though, so nobody had to pay nothing. Thank God, because I was definitely not paying three hundred dollars for no asshole cop that. Besides giving me a ticket, not even a warning, and it was my first day at work, so. Oh, yeah, and, and as we were driving, the guy, you know, and you don't have your seatbelt on, the cop's coming to pull you over. You know how you grab the seatbelt and try to hurry up and put it on, you know? Well, no, no, there was two of them right there, and I grabbed the wrong one, and I didn't know. I thought their seatbelt was broke, so I grabbed the wrong one and put it over me, and the Emerge gets booted right here, I think. And I try to I try to grab it, you know, but I grabbed the wrong one. And I, th I didn't think I didn't know their truck very well. It's like from 1997. I didn't know their truck very well, so I grabbed the wrong seatbelt strap, and it didn't have no thing on it, so I couldn't really. I thought I thought it was broke, so I didn't know what to do. And I told him that, and he was a dick to me about that, so and he gave me a ticket. But thank God my dad. Oh, there he emerged. Goes. See, he emerged. And thank God my dad knows the mayor got that shit removed, so I ain't got to pay no $500 ticket. And another thing about that, uh, about my work, I work with this really cool Mexican dude. His name was Zeke. And he was about 50 years old, 40, about my dad's age. And uh, it's a crazy story. He came over here to the U.S. from Mexico looking for a better life when he was 14. He rode trains over here, and he had to drink his own piss to stay alive at times. I mean, that's just, that's pretty inspiring if you want to make a better life. But now he is, has a pretty good life, and he has about 20 kids running around, and yeah, he really does, though. He really actually does have, like, 20-something kids, and it's pretty crazy, and I just die right there. Well... Yeah, and this game, this game's almost over, guys. I'll see y'all later. Um, I'm going to sleep. I'm really tired right now. Um, yeah, if you listen to this commentary, thanks. 
Subscribe if you haven't subscribed because it really helps us out. And see y'all later.